Alright, hello guys, my name is Paul Brad, and uh, welcome to episode 3 of my Let's Play Pikmin 2. It's gonna be a slightly different Let's Play, I hope. You haven't seen the ways I do shit here before. If you have, you've seen some uh, creative games, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing really that special about the way I play this game, but I'm just trying to, you know, keep it unique and uh, don't really play this game the normal straight way. So this is Awakening Wood, uh, which is basically where it starts getting a bit interesting and where stuff starts to happen. I guess we can't really escape these cutscenes, even though we're in day 3. Still have stuff to learn. No, are you kidding? That is his... Gotta be it. Yeah, there we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
So in ten percent down already. So uh, we'll see if we can get uh, twenty percent down today. That would be awesome if we could. Our first proper cave here. The first cave we did was kind of a tutorial cave, so I won't really count that. This is, in a way, the first cave we go into. The beginning of the real challenge. So this white flower garden. that treasure. It's not over there, it's not over there. Where the hell is it? It's not over there. What the flip frog? Oh, it's there? What? I didn't see that? Okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess my vision is impaired. specs
because these are white Pikmin, and they are quite special. As I said earlier, they are the fastest Pikmin, um, and in addition to that, they can see under the ground, um, and they can dig up treasures like that. Um, they are also invulnerable, uh, invulnerable for poison. Plus, they are poisonous, which means that if an enemy tries to eat them, they will lose a lot of health because they'll get poisoned from the white pigmen. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty special pigmen. And uh, it is with those, like it is with the black pigmen, or the, the purple pigmen, I mean. Um, which is that you can only get them from those flowers that we just saw. You, you can't get them uh, from above ground items. Like with the red, blue and yellow pigmen. You can only get them from those flowers. So you have to exchange uh, other pigmen for white pigmen. I was a bit indecisive there. Sorry about that. I was like, uh, what I'll do first. This is the best one to do. And the cave is done. Yeah, let's go. By the way, that's a different treasure on the uh, NTSC version. I'm playing PAL version now. I think there's a battery on the NTSC version, if I'm not mistaken. A small battery. A minus battery, or what? Is that what you call it? A minus? Whatever. A battery, at least. Okay, so you'll see the first boss coming up now. And it's a blue snagret. You'll also see a green snaggret, which is way harder to kill. So we'll still have some Pikmin with leaves on their heads. But I guess it's alright. Looks like all of purple Pikmin have flowers on their heads and that's the most important part, so... I'm happy about that. I'm not sure. We'll see. So that was the first cave completed. We got all the treasures there. 
is cool. And at the end, we got a five man knapsack, which is the first special treasure we got, but also the most useless one. Uh, what it does basically is hold X. Um, the leader that you're currently in control of will just fall asleep and the Pikmin nearby will carry him to the ship and then he'll wake up and that's all it does and I have no idea what that's important for or if it's important at all like if it's like any reason to use it in any circumstance but yeah, that's what it does, at least. But if you not know, now you know. This is the second proper cave we're in, it's called Hall of Beasts, which sounds really hostile, but it's actually a pretty easy cave. It's the same difficulty level as the White Flower Garden, I'd say it's like... basically the same difficulty. Yeah, we don't really need any more purple pigment than this. That's why I only fed like one into that one flower. Um. Cause yeah, we don't really need to exaggerate the number of purple pigment we have. We only need a hundred. To get that one treasure. Which I'm, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna get that anyways, but I don't know. I'd like to have 100 purple Pikmin by the end of this series, just because it's cool to have 100 purple Pikmin, I guess.
So you can hear this like weird sound, like sound, um, after I get some treasures, and it just means that it's the last treasure of that sub-level. If you were wondering about that. boss actually is way more hostile than the first one that we um, killed. And you're actually supposed to take this boss first, which I find weird because in my opinion it's like way harder than the burn. Um, but yeah. I guess way harder is an exaggeration, but it is harder. Okay, so this is a good treasure. It basically... a radar in the bottom right corner which detects treasures which is really really cool a bit differently. I'm kind of stupid, really. Uh, keep in mind, this is not a smart way of playing this game in any way. Uh, this is just me having fun, really. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, what I'll do is that I'll try to enter a cave that I'm not really supposed to enter yet. Essentially, that's it. Oh, 
Probably tell already. Uh, you're supposed to have blue beacon at this point to uh, get across this water, but I don't have blue beacon, uh, so I'll just do it this way. And um, the cave I'm about to enter here also. Uh, I suppose that we be in there. So, uh, there might be some treasures that I'm not supposed to get, or uh, I'm not gonna be able to get. We'll see how that goes. That's the reason why it's a bit stupid, because I can't really clear the cave yet. I can only get a few treasures and get out. at all. As you guys can see, it requires um, electricity and water, which I don't have yet. It does not require fire, which I have, uh, and it requires some poison too. I have five poisonous pigmen going into this. I left ten behind. Yeah, this is absolutely idiotic to do. But I just like to come up with challenging ways of playing games. Really. And that's what I'm doing now.
So this is the first sub level around my map to be able to get all the treasures. We'll see how it goes. me. That's embarrassing. Oof. Well, at least it didn't actually kill me. That would have been awful. Seems like we got all the treasures though, which is great. Strawberry takes forever, dude. What the fuck? How could I be so close and not spawn the bird? I'll get that. Just get rid of this mosquito and we can go down and dirty. Should it be around here? It? Yeah, it is. It is right here.
and you can clearly tell that this cave is like way more difficult than the other caves we've been to. Uh, by the way, that first boss that we um, killed is just like a normal monster here. quite hard to not fuck anything up here. This is like where it gets really hard. I just wanna know where that cherry is. Oh, it's, it's there. That's good. I am... Vision impaired, I guess. I tend to ignore the most obvious things. good for you know repaying the debt so that's partially why I want to uh, visit it early but it's mostly because I just want to play this game the quirky way really <laughs> Have I seen it yet? And just ignored it again? <laughs> yeah, it's over here. 
might not have seen that, but I think I did and ignored it. Like usually. Okay, so this um, next sub level here is where we are guaranteed to not get some treasures. And that flower right there is supposed to alternate between the colors uh, red, yellow, and blue. But now it's only red because it's the only pink uh, of those colors that I have uh, already uh, explored. treasures are buried underground, but I obviously haven't seen it yet. Holy shit. of me. Got quite a good amount of treasures here, but I highly doubt we'll get everyone because there's like five down here. And there's always at least one that's surrounded by water, so. Are any of these Pikmin Whites? Looks like we're only getting three or five treasures, which is like fairly decent. Or oh, wait, four? Or was that was that the first treasure we got? Or the second one? I can't even remember.
we missed out on two treasures. One of them you can see there, so worthless treasure really. Um, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so I, I think I mentioned him earlier, or her. Actually, I like to think that's a girl, or a woman, or a, a, a she. Um, she looks kind of female. The lashes and all that. But anyways, I think I mentioned her earlier, and... Um, that is the green snaggeret, which is like ten times more powerful. She's absolutely mad, and that's why I had to use the um, bitter spray there. So when you use the bitter spray. Um, the Pikmin are so aggressive that she just kind of gives up. As you saw, um, you might have noticed that. I, um, I went really, really, really aggressive on her. Um, and attacked a lot. Or attacked really early. Um, and that's because if you don't do that, she'll just eat your pigment basically. Um, but if you if you're really really aggressive on her, she'll just kind of shake off the pigment and dig herself down, and she'll just do that again and again if you just keep pushing on the Pikmin in her face. Um, so yeah. That's that. So I did not get that cave cleared notice uh, now. Because I did not clear the cave. Uh, because I wasn't able to. But yeah, I did get a lot of treasures. More than thousand cash in one cave. That is, you know, I'm happy about that. And we're already like 40% of depth recovered. Which is just insane. It's nuts. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I'll get enough time for this. I was actually kind of uh, anxious that I would not get enough time to get this last treasure before sundown. But it looks like I'll be able to pretty easily. That's, that's the end of day three. Uh, way longer episode than the others. I think we're up to like half an hour now, something. Uh, yeah. And it's just gonna get more insane from here on out. The next place we'll visit, Perplexing Pool, is just nuts. And you can see all the treasures here and all the money I got. That's three and a half thousand, about give or take. Uh, it's just a lot, a lot of money. None of our Pikmin have died yet. That's awesome. I'm not gonna read any messages now. Yeah, that's the end of episode 3. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.